Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Giles. I'm a student uh, in Ms. Robertson's uh, Fundamental of Speech class. Uh, today I'm going to kind of talk about what does it take to make a good speech. Uh, the most important thing is really uh, organization is the key to really any form of communication and especially a speech. Uh, for you, those of you that have had a, a Comp 1 class before, this is all kind of going to look very uh, familiar uh, as far as outlining for, a, for an essay. It's really the same thing. Um, <clears throat> now this isn't an actual formal uh, outline that you're going to turn in as a grade, but this might be more similar to an uh, <clears throat> outline that you would use for your notes to jog your memory. So if you take a look, we, t we start off with the introduction. Uh, an attention getter. What I, what I use for my attention getter is um, the unbiased medium. Um, I, I show a couple statistics about which uh, side the media is on. Uh, that may not have been a very good uh, hook for a lot of people. For me, that might have worked because of uh, anything about a conspiracy I'm all over, but for for majority of the crowd, it probably wasn't a very good one. Uh, However, that's what I used for attention getter. The ethos establishing material, I used that I was a qualified instructor when I was in the Marines. Um, <clears throat> and that just kind of solidifies you as you should be someone that's talking on the subject matter. And then finally, preview is much like a thesis statement in an uh, English paper, but we call it preview in, this, in the speech class. Uh, I have it listed as assault weapons ban, Chicago and Switzerland. That's just to kind of jog my memory. Maybe the actual um, thing would say something more like, today I'll discuss uh, critical thinking on the subject of assault weapons ban, uh, how gun control has been used in Chicago, and how gun control has been used in Switzerland. Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much what uh, the preview is. And it's much like your uh, English papers in that, you have parallel structuring, so you have assault weapons ban, and that's the first thing I talk about in the body. Chicago, next thing I talk about is Chicago in the body, and then Switzerland is the, is the last topic. So in, in that instance, it's very much like um, preparing an English paper. So once you've done that preview, you're going to go into the body. Now the next thing that's really important for all, all of your body is that you use these transition words. You see first next and finally uh, <clears throat> it's really important to use these especially in speech versus a paper because you don't see the words on written on paper there needs to be something that designates that um, <clears throat> you're going into another section of your speech so make sure you're using these transition words okay so first we talked about discussing the assault weapons ban uh, next I talked about and these these are uh, supporting evidence for that uh, I first talked about handguns, how most crimes are done with handguns, not assault weapons. And then uh, I talk about did it work back in the 1990s. Once I've talked about that, next, next, make sure we highlight that, we, we talked about Chicago. I talked about how under, uh, the gun, underground gun trade is uh, strongest in Chicago of any place in the U.S. and probably one of the strongest in the world. Um, so I brought that up and then I brought up how um, prohibition didn't work in Chicago uh, notoriously back in the uh, uh, prohibition days in the 1920s. Uh, once I finished up talking about Chicago, we finally ended with Switzerland. And notice, you use the transition word here again. Um, I brought up the point that it's not perfect. A lot of gun, pro gun um, people use Switzerland and, and make give the impression that it's just a gun toting utopia. But um, I, I made sure to point that out. And I showed what really set the gun cultures of the U.S. and Switzerland apart was actually the gun control, or gun education, which is uh, the underlining uh, statement for the entire speech. Um, so as, as you come to an end, you go down here to the conclusion section. Um, and just like you use all these transition words for first, next, finally, when you go to the summary statement, you want to use another transition word. In summary... Assault weapons ban, and this is kind of backwards. We're going back and talking about what we already talked about with your parallel structuring. Uh, in summary, assault weapons ban uh, did this, Chicago did that, Switzerland did this, and that is how you summarize what you've t already talked about. And then concluding uh, remarks is kind of where you want to leave uh, a, 
a lasting impression before you leave off. So, concluding remarks. For me, I used uh, critical thinking is important to apply to this sensitive topic, meaning um, don't believe everything that you hear and, and utilize your own, your own thinking. And that was kind of uh, what I wanted everyone to take away from this more than anything else. Um, with that said, uh, we'll take a look at my speech, and uh, at the end you can um, critique some of the things I could have done a little bit better. Thank you.